April 23rd, 1906. Dear Mr. Joyce, I am sorry, but I am afraid that we cannot publish the two gallants as it stands. Indeed, the printers to whom it was sent, before I read it myself, have said that they won't print it. Dear Mr. Grant Richards, you tell me that the printer to whom you sent the two gallants, before you read it yourself, refuses to print it, and you therefore ask me to suppress or modify it. I am afraid I cannot see my way to doing either of these things. I have written my book with extreme care. You will allow me therefore to say that your printer's opinion of it does not interest me in the least. Yours faithfully, James Joyce. Dear Mr. Joyce, Either I must have expressed myself carelessly in my letter to you, or you did not understand my meaning. I told you what the printer had said, not because I care about his opinion, nor care one bit about his scruples, but because you can be quite certain that if the printer takes this point of view, then the librarians will take it, the booksellers will take it, and an inconveniently large section of the British public who read books will take it. Dear Mr. Grant Richards, I am sorry that you do not tell me why the printer, who appears to be the barometer of English opinion, refuses to print the two gallants. Is it the small gold coin that appears in the story, or a code of honour by which the two gallants live that shocks him so much? I cannot see anything in either of these matters which should cause him to be shocked. But I am sure that he can be persuaded to change his fantastic opinions. Yours faithfully, James Joyce.